Motivate Yourself by Steve Chandler. Keep your eyes on the prize. Most of us never really focus. We constantly feel a kind of irritating psychic chaos because we keep trying to think of too many things at once. There's always too much up there on the screen. There was an interesting motivational talk on the subject given by former Dallas Cowboys coach Jimmy Johnson to his football players during halftime at the 1993 Super Bowl. I told them that if I laid a 2 by 4 across the room, everybody there would walk across it and not fall. Because our focus would be that we were going to walk that 2 by 4 but if I put the same 2 by 4 10 stories high between two buildings, only a few would make it. Because the focus would be on falling. Focus is everything. The team that is more focused today is the team that will win this game. Johnson told his team not to be distracted by the crowd, the media or the possibility of losing. But to focus on each play of the game itself just as if it were a good practice session. The Cowboys won the game 52-17. There's a point to that story that goes way beyond football. Most of us tend to lose our focus in life because we are perpetually worried about so many negative possibilities. Rather than focusing on the 2 by 4 we worry about all the ramifications of falling. Rather than focusing on our goals, we are distracted by our worries and fears. But when you focus on what you want, it will come into your life. When you focus on being a happy and motivated person, that is who you will be. In this, I'll be reading the 10th way. Welcome the unexpected. Most people do not see themselves as being creative. But we all are. Most people say, my sister is creative, she paints. Or my father is creative, he sings and writes music. We miss the point that we all are creative. One of the reasons we don't see ourselves that way is that we normally associate being creative with being original. But in reality, creativity has nothing to do with originality. It has everything to do with being unexpected. You don't have to be original to be creative. In fact, it sometimes helps to realize that no one is original. Even Mozart said that he never wrote any original melody in his life. His melodies were all combinations of old folk melodies. If you believe you were created in the image of your creator, then you must, therefore, be creative. Then, if you are willing to see yourself as creative, you can begin to cultivate it in everything you do. You can start coming up with all kinds of unexpected solutions to the challenges that life throws at you. 23rd way. Break out of your soul cage. Our society encourages us to seek comfort. Most products and services advertised day and night are designed to make us more comfortable and less challenged. But... Only challenge causes growth. Only challenge will test our skills and make us better. Only challenge and the self-motivation to engage the challenge will transform us. Every challenge we face is an opportunity to create a more skillful self. It is up to you to constantly look for challenges that motivate you. It's up to you to notice when you are buried alive in a comfort zone. It's up to you to notice when you're spending your life in the image of poet William Olsen, like a flower living under the wind. Use your comfort zones to rest in, not to live in. Use them consciously to relax and restore your energy as you mentally prepare for your next challenge. But if you use your comfort zones to live in forever, they become what rock singer Sting calls your soul cages. Break free, fly away. Seventy-first way, travel deep inside. Most of us wait to find out who we are from impressions and opinions we get from other people. 
We base our own so-called self-image on other people's view of us. Who? Do you really think I'm good at that? We ask. Then someone compliments us. If we are persuaded that they are being honest and have a good case, we might try to alert our self-image upward. It's great getting feedback from others, especially positive feedback. We all need it to live and feel good. But when it's all we have got, we are in danger of being far less than we could be. Because our self-image always depends on others. And all they see is what we are risking right now. What they never see is what's inside of us, waiting to emerge. Because they can't see that, they will always underrate us. Your journey can be internal. You can travel deeper and deeper inside to find out your own potential. Your potential is your true identity. It only waits for self-motivation to come alive. For this is the journey that men and women make, said James A. Mishner, to find themselves. If they fail in this, it doesn't matter much else what they find. Let positive reinforcement and compliments be a mercy seasoning to your life. But prepare your life's meal yourself. Don't look outside yourself to find out who you are. Look inside and create who you are. Thank you. I recommend you all to read this book. Do check it out.